Hi, I'm Ron Ungerman, and I work for Ultimat, and I want to show you how to set up a composite. We're actually going to do some small video clips of setting a mat, setting, uh, getting rid of blue and green spill, uh, how to build a background, things like that. Let me go ahead and go to our clip. Um, we're going to be using this video here that we shot at NAB. Now, this was shot live, and now we've compressed it, and we're playing it back for you right now. But we're going to show you how to do a composite and just set a mat in this case for here. So let me first now, that you saw this beautiful video, let's go back to our, our PowerPoint and actually show you the actual Ultimat. So up here we have, this is actually the label on the back of the SR2 or 3, uh, depending on which unit you had. This is the SR2 or in some cases the SR3 right here, and then this is the main unit. So. You see up here on the label, we have our RS-485, that's communication, COM1 for downloading uh, the uh, software and also memories, uh, USB to hook up a USB uh, computer, uh, I'm just sorry, mouse or keyboard, uh, Ethernet connection for downloading. Also, we have uh, the VGA output, so if you wanted to output the video from the display to another monitor, we can do that. All right, uh, hooking up the unit, uh, all we need to do is go from this connection down to the remote, and that's the only connection between the main unit and the remote is the remote cable. All right, so then underneath here, let's talk about the actual uh, unit. So in the config file, setting up the Ultimat, it comes up as Number one is our foreground. Also, this input, which is typically the camera, is our genlock. So the foreground video goes into here. Then our background is the number two input, and the mat or key in the number three. And this could be, uh, we call it the layer, but it can also be another camera. All of these inputs are looped through, so you can go through to another device. And then over here, we have our outputs. So you can see, uh, the monitor out would go to the operator's monitor. That way he can see the foreground direct, the background direct, all the critical adjustments he can see through there. Then we have two program outs, which actually would go to the switcher. Uh, and then a mat out for uh, making sure that your mat is set well. So now let's look at the clip we'll be using. As you can see, we have some fine hair detail, transparencies, reflections, shadows, typical things that you always want to see when you do a composite here. All right, so let's, before we get into the clip, let's look at the remote. So go ahead and switch to the, to the remote. So now we're in the remote. So I want to concentrate on these three buttons here. These are our view buttons, the foreground, the background, and the mat. So when the operator selects these buttons, the only thing that changes is the monitor out, and that's where the operator is looking at it. So these controls are only on the monitor out of the Ultimat. So let me go ahead and um, let's go back now to the video and look at, um, at those. So here we are in our composite. So let's go to the foreground direct. There you have our foreground camera. Um, now the background and the map. Now when you turn them all off, you get the composite, so that looks great. All right, let's go back to the remote now, and we're gonna concentrate now on setting a mat. Go ahead and stop the, the video, and we wanna look at, uh, what do we wanna look at? We wanna look at this button, the mat button. This changes the mat menu in here. So right now we're on the foreground menu, so go ahead and select that. And you notice how the mat menu changed now. So these hard buttons change our menu, our display. So what we're gonna concentrate on now is the mat density and the black gloss. These two controls will set our mat for us. Okay, so let's have her come down here. Okay, let's um, it's a little more headroom. Let's uh, have her come down and I'll, uh, I'll freeze the video right here. All right. So let's stop that. So let's look at the mat right now. So if we go to the mat mode, you can see she's solid and this 
plexiglass area here, the podium, is not. So anything that is solid should go opaque, like this. Anything that's not, uh, shadows, air detail, smoke, all those things should be translucent. Um, now we're using a piece of plexiglass here, a podium, and you can see the reflections on the floor or in the plexiglass. I usually don't recommend using plexiglass. We're just showing you this because we can, and it, we're kind of showing off, but a lot of times lights will shine into this, so I don't usually recommend using plexiglass. Okay, so let me, we'll actually misadjust the, uh, the mat density. We're gonna turn it down. So now, what you're seeing here, she's not solid anymore, right? Uh, the plexiglass is, the chair is getting translucent. Now, let's, let me go to the mat, the composite, and you'll see what happens when we didn't adjust this correctly. So now you notice all these little spots. We're actually seeing the background through the foreground, which we call print through. So that's because we haven't set the mat density. So let's go, we'll show you what it looks like here. Go ahead and let's, I'll bring up the mat density. There you go. And you notice how now she's opaque or not printing through. You don't see the background. Go back to the composite again. And I mean, sorry, the mat, there we are. And now you see again, she's solid. So you can look at this and adjust your mat density. So go ahead, we'll reduce it one more time. And you notice like these areas of her uh, necklace kind of go solid first or last. So if we go up, so we need a little bit more right about there. And that's as far as you want to go. Typically it's at zero on the uh, settings, but depending on if she's wearing green, you'll have to turn that up a little bit more to make it solid. Okay, that looks good. Let's go back to the composite. Now the only other thing is the next control is the black gloss. So let's go ahead and go back to the mat. See the mat? And we'll notice the underneath the chair here, we have green bouncing up into it, our shiny areas. We're gonna need, instead of the mat density, the black gloss. So go ahead and let's, we'll crank this up. Notice how that just disappeared there. Go back, let's go back and forth. You can see it changing as we're going back and forth. So matte density is for cooler colors. The black gloss would be for shiny objects or more reflective surfaces. So let's go back to the composite now and just play the video from here on. And now that looks pretty good. We got our shadows. We have a, a reflection here. Uh, and she looks pretty good. We're not printing through. So that's how you set a mat. The mat density and black gloss will make all the adjustments you need to set the mat. The next thing I want to do, the next series, is colorizing the foreground and also getting rid of blue and green spill. We'll do the blue and green spill first. So the next episode will be getting rid of blue and green.